Well, we would like to uh, thank our audience for a wonderful uh, last quarter of this year that we started in September, and here we are in 2019. And we thought we would have a Crew Reviews Secret Santa episode. <laughs> and so with that in mind, we have all uh, had a Secret Santa chosen for us, and the gifts have been delivered. And uh, Sean Cameron is there in the fireplace with his trusted steed. And we got uh, Eric Bishop. Hi, baby. And we have uh, Eric Bishop uh, with the nutcrackers hanging over his left shoulder. That looks Wait, a little I got suspicious. Oh, and Chris is going to surprise us. Uh oh. Drum roll. He's got an outfit, I'm sure. <laughs> no, it's a kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty. I got one stuck in the office and one that's trying to get in the office. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Albanese down there. He's got his usual workings in the backdrop. Mr. Christmas himself. Mike Outs. And uh, we are going to now open up our Secret Santa packages. I've been nominated to go first. And uh, we will begin. What knife are you using there, Mike? Uh, just kind of a lower-tiered uh, tactical knife TRS. And it cuts through just about everything. It is a Sharpie. Mia, this packaging has gotten tough. All right, and I haven't even looked at the title, but here it is for the viewers. I see Louis L'Amour, last of the breed. So, who is the wonderful person? Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Cameron. I love Louis L'Amour, and I. If I had read this, it was so long ago that I don't recall the plot line. So I'm excited as hell. The story there is. It's, I think it's his only non-Western. Um, it is one of the best chase novels you'll ever read. Uh, Mr. Jack Carr and I both share an affinity for this book. Yes. In fact, uh, I think his, that inspired his, his upcoming book. Part of it inspired his upcoming book. Right. It is um, it's about a Sioux, uh, an American jet pilot of Sioux descent named Joe Mack. And uh, you're going to love this book. And it's one that I hope our viewers, if you haven't, read this book pick it up it's it's honestly it's one of the best chase novels you'll ever read and i will personally leave a review of this uh after i read this over the break here um but mr cameron can't thank you enough and uh, i do recall mr carr actually talking about this so looking forward to why you guys were so thrilled about this read and again thank you sir all right let's uh let's go to mr bishop next and uh i will uh see what the man comes up with I'm up, huh? Let's see what I got here. Don't cut yourself. Cut away. Cut away. Having got, having oh, got the box open. Jeez. What do we have? Ooh. Yep, that's it. Someone took care of me this year. You go. This could be that. from any of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, hey, who Merry was the, uh, who was the gentleman Christmas. that got me this? Oh, that's beautiful. This guy. That's Strong. with the hopes that um, you will be able to get Mr. Gary Sinise, who is the most awesomest person uh, on this planet for all that he does for veterans in the USO and whatnot. Absolutely. I want the... him on the show, and uh, you will be the guy, if you read that book, to get him on the show. I'm looking forward to it. So I, as the guys know, I actually went, he did a concert here a couple months ago. I took my kids um, and, you know, there was a huge veteran turnout. There was a lot of military um, support there and uh, look forward to it. I will, I will read it during Christmas and I will, I will enjoy it. Thank you, brother. I do appreciate yeah, I do. that. Really awesome. uh, uh, the unofficial, we haven't voted on, but probably the unofficial man of the year for the crew reviews. I would, yeah, uh, without a doubt. I would be able to say that. Yeah. All right, Mr. Albanese, we're going to punch you next here. So let's uh, let's see what's in the box. Eric, I got the same thing. Oh, it's a gift that keeps on giving it's like a fruitcake. Ah. That piece of plastic was actually from me. <laughs> and so was the book. Band oh, of Brothers, Stephen Ambrose. I, I remember you talking about this being on the, on your shelf. 
Um, and it's like one of your favorite books, dude. I've actually never read it. So it is one of my favorite books. And this was a two part thing. So one of, first of all, it's one of my favorite books. Stephen Ambrose was one of the authors, um, uh, you know, when I was a teenager and early twenties that I just read everything he did and really enjoyed it. It really gave me a sense of appreciation for our soldiers. And um, that was probably my favorite book of his. And also I think it represents us. I think, you know, we, we joke a lot and we talk about how silly we are, but you know, we're a crew, but we've really become a brotherhood this year. And so um, that, the, you know, the, the band of brothers, I think is, is in some ways us together, um, going through this publishing journey together. Um, so yeah, I hope you're you here. Absolutely, I, myself, I, wasn't gonna cry. I know that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Oh, Derek, I agree, buddy. Yeah. All right, Mr. Cameron, let's see what's in the bag. Mine actually has a card attached. Sean, you magnificent bastard, from Mike. It could be any of the mics on the show. <laughs> Maybe my favorite comment ever is. <laughs> Mine requires a lot of skill to open. No knife. Yeah. Ella, help, help out. Come on, Ella. Yeah. Oh, the Christmas dog. Yeah. Ooh, one I have not read either. Loyal Sons. From Jim LaFever. Story of the Four Horsemen and Notre Dame's 1924 football champions. Uh, not. A word about Michigan in this book, so it's perfect Christmas. <laughs> I'm guessing. Well, I figured Thanks. you know you you are you you were an active writer uh, for a columnist on uh, regarding Notre Dame football. I know their your love for the the storyline there, and I thought if anything was uh, um, you know from a historic standpoint, really the Four Horsemen really put Notre Dame right square in the in the map. So. Thank you. I've not read this, and um, good. Definitely looking forward to it. Uh, every year, it's going to get harder and harder for us to find books that we haven't read. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to go back. Oh, there's still time. a lot out there. And yeah, actually, to that end, because I'm indecisive, uh, Michael, I think you have something to open. Still. Round two. Mm. <laughs> it's empty. No, it's the wrong one. <laughs> requiring some serious check his fingers still there david morell the brotherhood of the rose yeah dude oh that's the they sent you the wrong book <laughs> they sent you the wrong book it's supposed to be the fraternity of the stone oh, no, <laughs> send that back no <laughs> no no, no, that's but, an awesome book anyway. Yeah. I, anyway, I see you for turning the stone because you'd read The Brotherhood of the Rose, and yep. um, those two books are not, by themselves, they're not affiliated, but they come together in the third book called uh, The League of Night and Fog, and it's my favorite trilogy in thriller history. It's uh, yep. outstanding, so I want to make sure that you get the right book. Well, we'll talk to David Morell. Maybe, uh, maybe he can figure something out for us. But uh, I know you've <laughs> talked about this at length uh, with us, even off air, about the just how important that was to you early on when you're writing career. So, uh, yeah, let's put these things together and, uh, and and get that second one going. But thank you, brother. Yeah. Appreciate all that. All of you guys, all of you guys, if you haven't read the trilogy, you need to read Brother of the Rose and Portray the Stone first, and then read The League of Night and Fog. I think that's going to be, so, yeah, uh, I think that's books, our marching orders. Yeah, those books are, are influenced me on 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 just the whole genre of the thriller. Yeah, the no, I know the Brotherhood of the Rose was one of my yeah. was one of my favorites growing up. So absolutely. So thank you, brother. Appreciate that, brother. Right, mm -hmm. all yeah, brother. A lot, of, a lot of brother stuff going on. A lot on of here. brotherhood here. Band of Brotherhood of the Rose. It's a mashup. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, gentlemen, it looks like this was a big success in our inaugural year with the uh, crew reviews and our uh, Secret Santa program. And uh, I think 2020 is going to be pretty magical. And this is a great way to start that off. So you're here. Thanks to, thanks to Mr. Cameron and the rest of you guys for making this such a wonderful year. Thank you, boys. And to everyone out there, Merry Christmas. Hope you're with Merry your Christmas. loved ones and your family and everything that's important to you. So. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
and God bless yeah. everybody. So I would say Take our care. unofficial present to each other is that we came together in 2019. So that's right. Amen. All right, boys. We'll see you next year, folks. Take care. Absolutely. Merry Christmas.